because it's you it's yourself it's your body you do what you want to do hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back it's probably been about a week since i've been home so y'all have not seen me yes i feel a lot better but the, i was honestly and truly like fucking going through it when i got home i'll be two weeks post up next week so today's saturday i got home on sunday so i've been home for about a week and when i tell y'all this week's been hell I think it's been hell because I live by myself, so, and then I just been here by myself, recovering, and it's been kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but I've been getting through it. I really just been sleeping. Um, when I got home, it was already, like, rainy and gloomy in Atlanta. It was freaking cold. Like, I was already going through the whole little climate change, and then... My room was a mess. Like, I just needed to, like, fold up a whole bunch of clothes, like, clean up. And I don't know about y'all, but if my house is out of order, I feel out of order even more. On top of me feeling out of order already. Not feeling out of order, but just not feeling good. So, that was taking a toll on me because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I need to clean up. I cannot just be laying down like this and I need to fold all these clothes up. and get it feeling how I want it to feel. But I was up moving a lot. That's why I'm probably probably so active now because like I've been having to like get up, cook me something to eat, you know, do everything it is I need to do for myself. I'm not in pain no more. I've been home for a week. I'm not in pain. The only pain that I get is in my back. And the only pain that I get is in my stomach and my back. And not really so much my stomach. It's more so my back, but from the lipo. Like that is what hurts the most that's the only like uncomfort like that i've been in then your girl came on her menstrual this week and i'm just like why why this week out of all weeks and then it's dead off because it's the beginning of the month like i usually don't come on to the end of the month so i don't really know what's going on I was missing my baby. I didn't have him all week. He been such a sweetheart since he got home yesterday. He just got home yesterday. I was missing him. I was just in here by myself like I miss my dog. I ain't got nobody to talk to. Like Just going through it. And then like with this Faha, it's extra hard because so I got massages this week. Um, so, like, my massage lady would help me put my faha back on. Like, I would get up, take a shower, and then get my massage, and then she would help me put my faha back on. But other than that, I do not come out this faha. I be in this faha all day, all night. Like, my second massage, like, the second day she came, she was like, girl, your stomach has went in so much already, like, since we didn't started these massages and it was only my second one she was like you you compress really really good like you compress amazing and then i drink my tea my arnica tea that helps with um inflammation and i drink two bottles of water with my lymphatic drainage drainage drops to keep your body fluids drained i drink two of those a day i take all my vitamins I take my bromelain that helps with inflammation like I stay on it like I'm mean, sure it really just messed me up this week like like dealing with this faha and dealing with that is just a whole nother just irritation right there like so I have not been vlogging this week I haven't been recording nothing uh, y'all need to buy this massager because when I'm not getting my um massages, like if you're not getting that massage, you have to self massage. You don't have to, but it's very helpful. Like it just makes you feel better. And I got this one right here. I don't know if y'all oh y'all can't see the lights because I don't think the heat turned on. Maybe I pushed the button. 
yes it has heat too strong like it feels so good on your back like this right here is the best thing ever like um for real for real it's the best thing i'm kneeling like on this stool over my bed while this is on my back like i even fell asleep with this on my back last night that was my first night using it and i should have been put it together but i was being lazy sleeping at night is hard it's so hard um sleeping at night like i don't sleep through the night at all i think last night was probably the first night and not even that because i would sleep at like three or four o'clock in the morning but i slept to probably like 12 and that was probably like the best sleep that i had because I slept with this thing on my back the first couple of days like since i was sore and stuff i really wasn't able to put my thigh hat on by myself but i think i'm getting a little better <laughs> only because it's loose now um it's kind of loose now so i try to compress as much as i can i ordered my stage two faha so those should be here next week i don't really know but they really need to hurry up and get here if y'all i should have got it ordered earlier but i needed to know my measurements so yeah and that needs to get here. Um, and that one has no compression in the hips or the butt. And y'all, I'm going to need to get y'all a faha that don't have no compression in the hips or the butt. Um, for stage two. Because you don't want your butt and your hips to just be compressed all day, every day like this. But for right now, they got to because I got to stay compressed. But, y'all, my baby been so sweet. I think he just missed being at home, honestly. Like, he really did. But, yeah, so. And then, I was going to record a massage day this week with my massage lady. She comes to my house, but I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't in the mood. I was just this ain't been my week but i can say i feel a lot better this weekend i haven't been in no pain besides my back like i can't describe the feeling but if you got lipo in your stomach or your backside then you already know the feeling that i'm talking about it's just like a tingling burning sensation like it literally burns like it's like a pain that tingling burn and it really hurts but i put my arnica gel on there if y'all don't have none of this y'all need to get some of this um i got another tube over there but i'm gonna order another one because i've been going through that um yeah that helps on my back i put that on my back i put this massager on my back i'm good baby i'm going to sleep i'm going to be sleeping good knocked out so that really helps i have another massager i have a couple self massagers so and i really need to show y'all like my massage lady she was like i need to tell everybody to um be by themselves for the first couple weeks because girl you is in here snatched compressed walking good doing good doing everything you need to do like and you only been home a week i'm like girl yeah this shit ain't easy, but yeah, ain't easy for the first couple of days. I had a couple <laughs> emotional breakdowns. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like me just being a Pisces in here, just having I had emotional breakdowns, crying. But it's cool. I'm just extra. Cause I've been getting up early. Like I've been cooking. Cause y'all know your girl off of fast, but I haven't been eating nothing like that. I barely been having an appetite. Um, like I made me some salmon and rice, some chicken tacos for breakfast. I'll probably eat like hash brown, eggs, sausage, stuff like that. But I don't really do too much. It, it literally feels so good. I can't stay with this thing on all day. But I actually just woke up, so that's why I um that's why I put it on back was hurting so i'm gonna put my board in my back though that's why i'm just massaging it for a little bit before i put this board in my back and i'm gonna put some more cream on it and then i just been drinking my protein my first time trying it it's actually really really good it's caramel flavor but this is my first time drinking it it's pretty good 
I thought it was gonna be nasty, but it's good because you gotta feed your fat. I already don't have much, so I have to feed my fat, okay? So I just wanna make sure that I'm not just continuing to lose weight. Like, of course, I want my waist to be snatched and it's gonna be snatched, but like as far as like my hips and my butt and stuff like that, I don't wanna lose too much weight because I'm not gonna waste my money, baby, because I'm already still small. My body just looks so natural. I didn't want nothing too crazy. That wasn't my go-to. That's not what I wanted. I went for the shape because I wanted like that hourglass figure and some hips. And I got me some hips and that hourglass figure, baby. It looks real natural. And I can't wait till I heal so it can look even better. It's like you literally swell so fast and you swell off anything. Salt, you gotta watch what you eat. You out of your faha, you're gonna swell. I can take my faha off. My waist is, I mean, of course, it's still gonna look good and snatched, but like you can tell a difference between being out of your faha freshly and being out of your faha for about 30 minutes. I ain't even gonna get into it. But yeah, you just gotta wear this Faha girl. You gotta stay compressed, 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 compressed to see the best results within your stomach. Like, you don't wanna see results, but to see the best results and to really have that hourglass figure, you gotta stay compressed. So, I stay compressed 24 7, 24 hours out of day. I sleep in my Faha. And that's gonna be all for today. Not today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue this video. This is just a little update for y'all because I know I haven't recorded nothing since I've been home. But I most definitely want to record my next massage for y'all. Um, I'll do like a massage day video on what I do on my massage days. Or Y'all see my massager going crazy. It feels so good. Like I can stay like this all day. And, like, when I get out of the shower, like, I'll put it on my stomach. It got heat in it. Oh, my gosh. It feels so good, y'all. This is a most definitely a knee, a must-have. And I don't even remember how much it costs. I think it's like $40. You can get it on Amazon, though. I'm, I'm going to put the link down below. We keep this video rolling until next week. Um, Because, like, day by day, I don't do nothing. I lay in this bed. Um, I get up, I move around a lot because I do get up because I got to do everything by myself. So, you know, I'm up and I'm moving around doing cooking, cleaning. Now, Brack's back at home. So, dealing with him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Good morning, you guys. So, this video, I'm pretty sure y'all already read the title, but it's just going to be a BBL must have video. Because I know I said that I was going to do like a must-haves or supply list or whatever I took down there. And whatever I used and what I felt was the most useful to me. Everybody's different, but... Okay. He's just running around his house like he crazy today. But, you know, that people have already been asking me like what it is that I used or felt that was most helpful for me. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this video because i really had wanted to do this before i went but i had so much going on it was so much happening i didn't have the time to sit down and record the video and my bag was pretty much already packed since november so i wasn't finna unpack it and you know i wasn't gonna do all of that but i'm glad that i waited until i got home so i can explain more what i felt was more useful more helpful but right now i'm just gonna make my protein drink and y'all know that I've been drinking um, protein because you got to feed your fat. Like, I don't eat that much. So, it's really important for me to try to feed my fat and just, you know, stay healthy or whatever. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead. And I, I don't like milk. I don't like, the, I don't like the taste of milk. I drank, I was drinking it, you know, for a couple of days. Like, just drinking a protein. And I got caramel flavor at that. I probably feel like this is, like, the best flavor. Cause it don't taste that much like milk but it still does to me like i would literally just have to like chug it like just to hurry up and get it drink it but i saw this video where somebody was mixing it with some coffee and made it into like a coffee drink 
so it tastes better in coffee um so i just bought like some coffee from the store and i just like make me some iced coffee with the protein mix and i use the protein as like the creamer the milk whatever you know but it's really good so today i'm gonna make me a caramel frappe hey because that's just what i got a taste for right now and um another way i make my protein drinks is in a smoothie with fruits and stuff like that so and instead of almond milk i'll use that so i'll show y'all that smoothie too probably in another video little tips and stuff like that that keep the inflammation down keep my body down keep everything down so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and make my drink real quick crazy and it's protein y'all see I'm gone this is the way that i have to drink my protein like i got some more in there that i just put in the freezer for a little bit i'm gonna go back and get it this one halfway gone but we're gonna get right into this video because my camera is only halfway charged and let's make this quick okay the first thing that you need is your vitamins your vitamins are very, very important. Do not forget to take y'all vitamins with y'all because you're going to need them like two months before your surgery. Like start taking your vitamins so your body can be good, you know, so you can get have fast recovery. Heal three that my doctor told me to take vitamin C. I still take these to this day, two times a day. Vitamin C, you need your vitamin C. You should you need to be taking vitamin C anyways as your regular day vitamin. But because Corona is still out here, you need to protect your immune system. Vitamin C and also folic acid and furious gluconate. I don't take the furious gluconate no more. Folic acid, I will still take folic acid once a day because folic acid it has high B12 in it and it just helps your body produce new cells and maintain the cells that you already have. And baby, your cells is all over the place because you, they getting taken out, put back in. Your fat is transferable. So to have your, your folic acid. So make sure you're taking those. Those are really good vitamins. Um, you also want to take your Hemaplex. These are a blood builder. This is for before. Take these before your surgery just to make sure your hemoglobin level is good and it's okay. Like with me, I drink a lot of tea. Like a lot of tea. Like I drink tea every morning. Probably two times a day. And that lowers your hemoglobin. It's some stuff like that. And certain foods lower your hemoglobin and stuff like that. So just make sure y'all are up on this apples will help increase your hemoglobin though i was eating a lot of apples fruits and stuff because y'all know i was on a fast a month before i even got this surgery so 
I didn't have like no bad food in me. I ain't have no meat, no bread, no sweets, none of that in my system. So I was just eating fruits and vegetables and you know, I was healing. I am heal pretty good, you know. It's like, it's really what you eat. So make sure y'all are eating good before and after your surgery. Your Tylenol, you need regular Tylenol, extra strength, and you need Tylenol PMB baby because you ain't gonna be able to sleep like any of those like you're gonna be in pain um i was in pain i couldn't sleep it's uncomfortable your body uncomfortable all of that other stuff so make sure you have good some tylenol pm melatonin whatever but tylenol pm it works good because it helps you sleep and for pain so it's being in that fire high sleeping on your stomach is very uncomfortable this is basically like your inflammation vitamin. You need to take these two times a day after your surgery. Like, this is going to help your swelling stay down, your fluid, all of that stuff. It helps with inflammation in the body. Like, just like pineapple juice, you got to drink your pineapple juice. Stay up on your pineapple juice. Like, when you get there, make sure you get your pineapple juice and your pineapples because you're going to need that. Like, pineapples really, really help with inflammation and swelling and so do these vitamins. And I still take these. To keep my swelling and stuff down um another thing that i use for you know swelling and pain that i was using are these arnica tablets if it's on these really help you just put them on your tongue they dissolve it helps with pain and swelling i also take these right here they're b12 supplements and b12 basically helps keep your fat cells some people get the shot like they'll get the b12 shot and they'll be getting that like after surgery to like try to help maintain the fat and keep the fat that's transferred but i don't do shots i don't do needles so we're gonna take this b12 and it helps with your energy because after the process like you'll be real down it's just really a process like when they say trust the process well you really have to trust the process because it's the process um you really 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 need these these are your lymphatic drops and basically all you do is put it in the water it's time for me to i haven't had no i haven't had a bottle today so let me go get me a bottle of water and i'll show y'all what i do okay i'm back so and you got your water bottle you just pour your drops in there I just be eyeing it, honestly. Put you a couple drops in there. You you know when it's enough. You trust trust your gut, trust your instinct. You know when it's enough, but you just gotta shake it. And hmm. I drink two of these a day. So your lymphatic drainage drops, it helps keep the fluid drained out of your body so you don't get no buildup fluid in your stomach, your back. Because if you get any three, I got 360 lipo and that's all around, all up the back. Like, and swelling is normal, it's going to come. But to help keep your fluid down, you need this. It does make your urine pretty yellow. So make sure, y'all, make sure you're drinking the equal amount of water as you're drinking in this so if i'm drinking two of these a day i'm drinking two plain regular bottles of water i do that anyway so it's not really nothing new so i make sure you're drinking plenty of water with that that you're mixing with your water okay all right i love dr Bronner's soap i just got a travel size and this is a unscented soap and that's my favorite soap so that's what i took with me bio oil you this is my travel size one as well the one that i took with me I had a big bottle in my bathroom but bio oil you're gonna need your bio oil for your marks your dark marks like your incision points you know like any um marks that you get from your faja it is your hose throat spray i thought hose was gonna be enough but i had to get them some throat spray while i was down there because when you get surgery, like that tube or whatever they put on your throat while you're under anesthesia, when they when they take that out, like it hurts. I thought that it would never go away. Like if I didn't have that throat pain, I felt like I would have been much easier. Like the first two days, like my throat was hurting more than my body. 
I honestly don't know. That was the worst pain ever, honestly and truly. I could say the first day my throat was hurting worse than my body. Like, that was my main concern. If you go into an Airbnb or hotel, you know, by yourself, meaning you not, like, going to a state house. Like, I was, I had a, room, a hotel room before because my aunt and my mom was with me and stuff like that. So, you want to make sure you have a shower lining um, or plastic to put over the bed because you're going to be draining a lot if you don't have draining tubes and your doctor just let it drain out of you. You want to have a lot of blood and fluid. So you want to protect the bed because you don't want to get charged. You're going to need puppy pads, chuck pads. You're going to need a lot of these. Like, they had to come and change mines out probably like every couple hours. The first couple of days. So you're going to need those. Any type of wipes. I just got these Summer Eve Aloe for sensitive skin. It's come in handy because, you know, sometimes like that fluid, like it can go drop down your leg. You know, you just want to wipe it um, just to stay clean. I think I'm like a clean freak, so I just be wanting to stay clean all the time. Um, and when you're using the bathroom, these come in. I like to use these wipes. I like th these are more helpful than tissue. I feel more clean using these, like because you're already in that faja, you're bleeding. You know, you want you want your girl to feel kind of clean down there. If you can't take a shower on the first day, you have to wait till the next day to take a shower. So these come in handy. I have some alcohol wipes because you just want to, it's a lot going on down there in Miami. You just want to make sure you stay clean, sanitize everything like where you're going, your place, where you're staying. Um, make sure you take you some disinfectant spray. Um, when you're getting on a plane, when you're getting, you know, massages, you just really want to stay clean. You know, because you're already going through a major surgery in the midst of a pandemic. So, just stay clean, okay? You need a measuring tape and you really need a measuring tape because you don't need it but it's highly recommended because if y'all like me i want to know i want to know what's changing on my body what what changes is going through you know what's what's the results i'm getting and stuff i just want to know so i think i measured my waist and my hips before and after but mainly and foremost a ordering a custom faja if you're going to order your faja you need to know your measurements you need to know what size you are and you want to order it i don't even think i ordered my custom faja until i got back home because my measuring tape was at home and i didn't take it with me but that was good because I, my swelling had needed to go down and stuff before I ordered it anyways because I wanted to get the right size. And it actually came in the mail. It's drying right now. I don't have it on, but it fits so good. You want to order you another faja with no compression on the butt or the hips because you don't want to smash your butt and your hips. So get you a faja for your stage 2 that don't have no compression or it has like breathable butt or somewhere in that nature but just make sure there's no compression on your butt or your hips um five highs we're gonna talk about five highs for a little bit hold on so with your five highs i have these two i probably got about five five highs by now you're gonna have you're gonna be collecting these five highs i'm just gonna let y'all know because your size is changing when you first get surgery, of course, they're going to put you in one that's a little bigger because you're swollen. So, it's not going to be your actual size. Like, this one is an extra large. Both of these are extra large. My um, facility gave me two Faha. I didn't know they were going to give me two. I thought I was just going to get one. So, I had took another one with me. I ordered this one off Amazon. I just had ordered, like, a little cheap one. So, that way, when one was washing, I'll be able to still be compressed and have on another one. Because, like, when they wash, they got to dry, you know. So, just make sure you have your extra faja if your facility is not giving you another one while you're down there. Because you just don't want to be not being compressed while, you know, you're out of your faja. Because you need your faja on 24-7. But right now, I have on my 360 foam board. I'm still compressed, although I'm out of my faja. So, I'm going to take this off and show y'all when I get ready in the shower, but not right now because we need to finish this. But, yeah, I love this 360 foam board. It's most definitely a must-have. And I'm going to tell y'all about that last because when I take it off, I'm getting straight in the shower. Then getting out, putting my faja on. So, inside of your faja, you're going to need your foam boards. I have so many foam boards. So many. Five gave me, what, three? 
and I ordered probably like two more packs because as you can see be cutting them up using them to fit your liking at first I was do using four so two on the side and I had cut them this is this is the one I was using for the side I cut it so it wouldn't be on my hips because I have a small side so I had two on the side one in the front one in the back and then over the one in the front you need your ad board on top of that phone that is the one 305 gave me but I have another one and I ordered this one as well so I got two um ad boards you have to have your ad board and just to make it easier um with more compression when you put it on at first it's really good to have a um some ace bandage wraps so you can use these to wrap around your phone board and your ad board and then put your faha on top of it that's just the easier way to try to get them in with compression as much compression as you can the reason i have these little small ones cut is because words are only going to come to about like right here so like all it is right here was swollen and it was hurting like that fire was hurting me like really bad so i cut these little strips and i just stuck them in my side like underneath my arm inside the faha and or on a strap because you know like y'all can get like marks and stuff like i'll put it like right there on the strap because i don't want my body to be all marked up from this faha like you can already get faha burns and that I do have a faha burn i had two i have one right here but that one has one away and i have one on my side and i think i got that one from like the first two days that i was wearing my faha because i didn't have my boards and my phones in or i didn't have no i didn't have no tank top on either another thing you need your tank tops Tank tops are so important. You don't want to mess your skin up. You don't want your skin to be irritated by the... I got sensitive skin. Irritated with the foams and the faha, getting faha burns. It's just... It just don't feel good. Put your tank top on and then put all your stuff over your tank top. Your foams, your boards, your faha. And it's convenient because your faha don't have no bra in it. And at first, it's going to be very uncomfortable. You're not going to wear, want to put on a bra. You ain't going to want to put on no sports bra. Because my sports bra will even be tight. I got big boobs. I wasn't feeling all that. I just wanted to be free and just comfortable. So with the tank top, that's just... It's just it's more comfortable. Protect your skin and it's comfortable. If you kind of heavy chested or you got some boobs, you know. Look. You need your compression socks. Um, the facility gave gives you one pair, but I had ordered two extra pair only because of all that bleeding and draining getting on your socks. Like, and you have to have your compression socks on for a week so you don't get any blood clots. So, order you some more. You don't want to be wearing that same pair of black socks. The reason these come in handy is because at the top, right underneath, right here, I'm pretty sure y'all can see. This is the 360. This why this 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 why I mess with this 360 because I ain't even got I ain't even gotta use these. But with the regular board phone boards, they're gonna cut off like right there. I ain't gonna have all of this compression up underneath my breast. So I had to cut like a little piece just to put it on top of the other phone board, just so it can all you know be compressed. Cause you will get swollen right there anywhere on your stomach, on your back, on your sides where you don't have compression, you will get swollen. It's some lotion. I you have to use unscented. All you need, all your stuff needs to be unscented for one. And I just got some Aveeno lotion just to use like when I get out the shower and stuff. Need your gauze, you need your tape. You need it. I only use them for like three days, but tape and gauze. Poise pads. You need poise pads too as well. They're over near my counter because I was using them, but you need poise pads. They're just like a thicker pad that you can put in your incisions to get the fluid. You need poise pads. So before surgery, the day before, I had to do mine the morning of. Um, your, you need your HIPAA cleanse, the antibacterial soap. You need this and you also need Dial antibacterial soap. It's like the little yellow bar. Yeah. Take a shower with both of these before surgery to cleanse everything off your body. This is what you need. It's called hip cleanse. 
and dial. Her little gowns, whatever their little dresses, whatever they're called. You gonna need some of these. The most comfortable comfortable thing that you gonna wear besides your robe. I don't wanna put no clothes on. Your body gonna be hurting and swollen. That's how you gonna wanna wear like if you want to walk, you gotta go out like to the grocery store. I think like a couple a couple days I had got out, did some walking, went to this grocery store. Um yeah. Go into your massage. Stop it, Brax. Like I packed like some big big t shirts and jogging pants, but I ain't wearing that day. Other than that, you just gonna need like some slides or some comfortable shoes that could you can just slip on and off and don't gotta be nothing too extra because you're not gonna be bending over putting no shoes on. So I think I just took my slides and my crocs. That's about it. It's your arnica gel. This is my second tube. I've already used all the one. I used it on my back, baby. I can't really describe it feeling like burning, tingling, painful sensation. I can't sleep. Like, I literally have to use my back self-massager and put some of this on her. And take me a pain pill to go to sleep. Because back, back ain't no joke. Talking about self-massage, let me put y'all on to these massagers all right so first up my favorite one is this one it has two things in here with three balls on it it also heat it bring it, it heats up too and it says you can change the settings from high to low you can change the rotation and you can turn the heat on and off but this massager is probably the best forty dollars ever because The brand is Snail Snailex. Snailex. But you can put this on your back. That's what I use it for the most, my back. You can put it on your stomach, on your sides, on your back. Just to do some self-massages at home. If you're hurting, this is the one. This one is another electric one. And it has so many, like you could turn it all the way up. But I'm just still on the first setting. I don't even use this on my stomach yet because it's so strong. Feel like little hard, like lumps and stuff like that, like fluid. You want to make sure to massage that out. Just put this on there. It's just a strong vibration and it just smooths everything out. You can also change the massage thing. Like you got the ball. I think that's what's on here now. Um, You got the, you got a flat one. This one, I haven't used that one yet, that pointy one. I've only used these three. Um, also on my back, works really good on your back. I ain't used it on my stomach yet because my stomach too sensitive. Self must three hand ones, that's not electric. First one is this one. And all of these really pretty much came off Amazon. This one, you can get this anywhere though. Um, you basically just roll like, just roll your legs, roll your stomach, roll your sides. Two other ones I have. The first one, this one is a little softer than that um than that wood one. That's why I ain't opened that wood one yet. But you just like roll your stomach, roll your sides. You can't even do your back. This one, I like this one. I've been using that one a lot. And this one is the wood one. This one is pretty hard, so I haven't used it yet. But it's the same thing. You, um, because you know, like, some massages, you can get wood therapy. Like, y'all ever seen the wood therapy where they be doing like this, you know, to your sides? I got me one at home. Period. Y'all gotta invest into this because it's an investment. It's really an investment. Boo. Why go spend all this money on surgery and you're not gonna take care of your body afterwards? Massage is mandatory. I get them two or three times a week. Every other day, I'm getting my massage. Self-massage, mandatory. Because in the middle of them days that you're not getting a massage, it's like you're swelling. So why wait all the way until your lady come or whatever or to you, to you go get your massage to massage? No. You need to self-massage. That's going to get your maximum results. That's going to make you feel good. Like now, I'm going to take a shower. And when I get out of the shower, I'm going to self-massage myself for 30 to 40 minutes. Slow it down, keep the swelling down, maximize your results. It's just really, really important. Those are all of the things that are a must-have that I think that you need the most. Like, they be giving you a long list of stuff. You don't really need all that stuff. 
arnica tea like i got the like you got the arnica tablets the gel tea arnica tea we're gonna make that tea in a minute with my breakfast and i'm gonna show y'all how i make it but arnica tea is very important like am i massaging in miami brought me some so she gave me a whole box keeps your swelling and inflammation down that's the key is to compress and do what you can to keep your swelling and inflammation down because that's just gonna keep your waist snatched just gonna maximize your results you need your bbl pillow i have not even sat on this pillow yet like a lot of people be sitting on their pillow real soon but i'm not sitting down baby the only time that i've used this pillow was in the airport when I had to sit in a wheelchair and they took me to like baggage or took me up to my um flight. Oh, on the plane for like 20 minutes. You're going to need this on the plane. You don't want to sit on your butt. Make sure you get this. And me, I probably sat on this pillow for 20 minutes during takeoff and I got right up. Like once we took off, baby, I was on my knees. Because I'm not going to sit on my butt for no whole hour and a half flight. No, I sat on my knees and I laid down and I went to sleep. And that's the only time that I've used this pillow. I haven't been nowhere. I don't go nowhere. I've been at home recovering. Um, so, yeah. And even when I do get in the car, I'm on my knees. Like, or laying down in the seat. I'm not sitting down on my butt. I'm finna get in the shower. So, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about this 360 wrap. Hold on. Just trying to find this picture to show y'all. Um what can happen with the regular foams but with this wrap around so it reduces your swellings it helps your skin reattach to your muscles like when i tell y'all when i tell you this 360 foam wrap off it's like i be so like just smooth my skin is smooth like it's such a difference from Wearing those regular foams, when you take them off, you be having these lines everywhere. You know, some parts of your stomach be swollen, some don't. But, matter of fact, let me just find a picture. Let me just find a picture and show y'all what I'm talking about. This is where I had on a regular foam. And this part of my stomach wasn't compressed, so it's swollen. So, I don't know if y'all can see right here. Literally swollen. Because there is no compression right there. The 360 board, it comes all the way up. It gives you compression all up here. You wrap it around and you snap it in the back. This is how it looks. Right here. See how long it is? It wraps around your whole stomach. And then it snaps in the back. Like that. So yeah, like that 360 foam board even all around it gives you good compression your skin everything be so smooth and tight and just fitting so nice when you take it off like it honestly just feels so good <laughs> so long to get in the shower and then putting this faja on already takes me a while and then when I get out the shower I self massage myself for 30 minutes and then put my faja on so yeah and then we added back in skincare 
We are a Brad. It seems like every time I start recording, he finds something to bark at. Like he's been quiet all day. Yeah, like we added skincare back in, y'all. You know, when I had my nose surgery, I didn't wash my face. I can wash my face, but I had to do it with a towel or do it like real softly or in the shower. I couldn't deep clean. I couldn't do my exfoliating around my nose. I couldn't do like use my little face brush. Like I couldn't bump my nose in any type of way. And I don't know if y'all see something new. This back is not new. Y'all know I wear glasses, but they're back. Homegirl can see. I can see. It feels so good to see me in the camera because in my other videos, I didn't really know what I was be looking like. I just be recording myself and that's just that. I cannot see the camera without my glasses on. So this honestly feels really good that I can see myself. Y'all see me, y'all see y'all. I'm not just playing. But um, yeah, I'm very happy to be able to wear my glasses now. It feels really good. But they feel, it feels weird wearing them No. But I'm just happy that I can do my skincare routine again because that was really stressing me out. I just showed y'all how I make my tea. And it's so good. And I can taste the pineapples. I showed y'all, but I put lemon, pineapple, and honey in the Arnica tea. Um, the pineapple just helps with the inflammation. And just extra, you know, keep the swelling down. It's really good. Like, I'm gonna kill this right now. My breakfast is not done, so I'm gonna eat this banana for right now. But my boiled eggs are boiling, so I can make me some avocado toast. And yeah, I might get ready to prep for dinner soon. I don't really know what I want to make tonight. I'm having a pretty light breakfast and lunch. My breakfast be around like 12 o'clock, y'all. It's like probably like the new one but um yeah i'm just having some avocado toast with boy eggs and it's banana and tea so i already know that i'm gonna need something a little heavier later on because i'm gonna be hungry i might bake some chicken or some fish i don't know and i'm gonna take my vitamins for today for the morning and for the day got my rumbling Vitamin C. Might be 12. But this tea does go crazy. And then when I get done, I eat the pineapples out of here. It's so good. So, my camera, oh my gosh. I mean, my tripod is not the camera. It's the tripod right here. And I just have on the tank top underneath it. I'm going to do a review for you guys on my style high and where I got it from and how I like it, how it fits, and you know, all of that good stuff. So make sure y'all stay tuned to get a um to get up to see the video when I do like my review of my Baja and um which one I prefer, which one I like, because I got so many Bajas already now and I'm gonna get ready to order another one because I feel like I'm gonna need like this one type of Baja for my birthday so I don't have to wear this one because I'm going to be in my Baja on my birthday. Like, it's just no way around it. Like I'm only going to, I think I'm going to hit six weeks post-op on my birthday. Yeah. Which is not enough time, not enough time to be out of your Baja for a full day. Like no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be looking all swollen and crazy. That's why I'm really not doing anything the week of my birthday because I'm only going to be six weeks post-op still healing so but yeah 
we want to see how all of that goes i don't it don't really i'm not going to say it doesn't matter to me because it very much matters to me it's my 21st birthday and i need to have fun i'm going to have fun but on the other hand we're not going to mess this body up trying to have fun that's what we're not going to do um i have to stay compressed at all times and that's why i'm going to order this other box so excited to see my final results and how everything gonna turn out because it looks really good right now i actually love my results right now the first week well i'm in my third week right now yeah i'm finna hit my third week this week that's coming up today sunday i feel great um i'm looking real great I'm looking even better but it's a process like my first two weeks i was looking at my i don't know about this i don't, I don't know what's going on but please trust the process and getting the surgery like it's all a process i don't regret doing it um i actually love my results i love how natural it looks but it's still snatched and the hips still out I, I love it but if you're getting a surgery or any type of cosmetic surgery, BBL, lipo, boobs, whatever you want to get, you know, just make sure that you're doing it for yourself and you're not doing anything for anybody else because it's just not going to feel right. Like, I don't feel that anyone should get surgery, you know, for anybody else or to be pleasing in the eye of anybody, relationships, friendships, want to look like somebody else or you want to please the public instagram and you want to just keep up no don't don't do that you know if you're comfortable with yourself then by all means just stick to it but if you want to get something done if you want to get some change fix enhance then do that but make sure you're doing it for you like do it for you and yeah and feel good about it and don't let these people be like you know like why are you getting why are you getting this or why are you doing this you don't need that don't tell don't tell me what it is i don't need you know and it's not about a need it's clearly a want if you want to add some enhancements on to yourself because at the end of the day it's for you you know to make me feel good me looking i'm looking in the mirror every day at myself like kids because nobody can make you happy with yourself you know so i just say make sure that you're doing it for yourself and you are feeling real good about it because i feel amazing about my surgery no matter what it is that you're going for the look the look that you're going for or none of that like it don't matter if you're doing it for you you're doing it for you like nobody else's opinion nobody else say so matters like and that's what we want with a lot of people look i'm i'm really rambling at this point but um a lot of people be caring so much about what other people have to say when nobody else's opinion should matter at all. Like, nobody's, nobody's, nobody, nobody opinion should matter. Not your friends, not your boyfriend, not your family, not your mama, not your daddy. It should not matter because it's you, it's yourself, it's your body. You do what you want to do, you know. And yeah, like me like i still want my boobs done like for effects i'm pretty sure y'all just saw the struggle that i be going through like it's not a struggle i just have big boobs i get them for my mom um and i just want a reduction in the lips i was most definitely going to be after six seven months so i would probably say like the end of the year or for my 22nd birthday you know you never know i don't really know but um yeah so just make sure you know if you're getting something done or whatever just make sure you get it done for yourself for that self-love for that self-love boo because this is self-care this self-love self-care whatever you want to call it y'all know i love me some self-care because i'm just all about making myself feel good and feel happy you know and doing whatever makes you happy is just a plus and then you let me start rambling because i will ramble to y'all all day but we're not going to do that um that is going to be all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and do not forget do not 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 do not forget to like comment and subscribe
because if you made it all the way to this video and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? What you doing? Um, so yeah, just make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like and comment on this video. Um, I'll make sure to leave the links down below um, of the stuff that I ordered, but some stuff I got off probably like some of that stuff I got at the store, some of it I ordered. So whatever I ordered, I'll make sure to put the link in the description box. And if I forget to link anything, just comment or send me a message and I will let y'all know where I got it from. But I feel like most of that stuff, you pretty much know where to get it from, like what stores. Um, Amazon got all of that stuff. Um, so... Thank you so much for tuning in. Just remember, it is all a process in post surgery journey. Like, and I'm only going on three weeks. And I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now. But I'm healing and I'm healing pretty good. Um, with like all of the stuff I do, you know, you just want to take care of your body. Post-op care, it has to be the most important thing about this surgery. Be Like my massage lady was telling me that somebody hit her up wanting massages and they're, they're 17 days post-op and they haven't had one massage. That's crazy. Like I know their body is so swollen, sore, full with fluid. Like... I can't imagine going 17 days without a, and no massage. Massages are very expensive. So I just feel like if you don't have the money to take care of your body post-op, then you need to wait a little bit before getting in surgery because post-op care is very much important. And like these Fajas, Fajas are over a hundred dollars for each one. Like let's just talk about the Faja. Fajas, massages, everything like it's crazy and you know you're constantly switching up your body like or getting it altered or just finding one to your liking but i do like this faja right here this faja is feeling feeling pretty good it feels better than my other one and i can't wait till my other one get here and i can't wait to order this other one so yeah but i want to thank you guys guys so much for tuning in to this video i know i'll be rambling and talking y'all ears off but it be important information, I think. But, um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video.